Yo, 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 what is going on, ROK Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder. And today, I wanted to talk about how people throw out these easy words where you'll hear some <clears throat> talk about their, they'll say things that make it seem as though they know what they're talking about or they have all this experience or they say something and it should immediately be attached with some level of top knowledge and top, well, I guess experience again for probably lack of better words. And I'll give you some examples. Have you ever came across someone who says, oh man, I've been king before. I've been king three times. I know what I'm doing. I've led an alliance for two years in a top kingdom. I know what I'm doing. I've been playing this game for three plus years since around release. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. And the reason I wanted to touch on this subject is because if you've ever come across someone that has said this to you and you know absolutely nothing about them, my recommendation is to usually take it with a grain of salt until you are able to have a conversation with them, see how they act when you're a part of whatever they're doing, or look up posts that they've made. Trying to get somewhat of an idea on who the individual is, what do they stand for, what are they about, Instead of just taking the blanket statement as, oh, this person told me they, they're a king. They, they must know everything that any other king would know. And the fact is, is that we're all individuals. We all have different levels of knowledge and experience when it comes to playing. And we shouldn't assume or have this unrealistic expectation that there is an association of the most amount of knowledge and experience for any time the word I've been king or I've led an alliance or any type of thing that someone says, you know, as far as like a title, <clears throat> for us to then immediately as assume that this person is, you know, you know, deliverance, if you will. And before I really kind of just start diving in a little bit more, as always, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you sub, like, ring the notification bell. And of course, if you want to join and be a part of our conversation, hit up Discord. You can find a link to that in the pinned comment description down below. And so, you know, this, this whole topic really interested me because I had a situation, I, I, first and foremost, I've had multiple situations. I've seen this happen multiple times. But I had a recent situation today where an individual had responded and they more or less said something to that effect. And my response to them was that, you know, them telling me that the title, as though it carried some level of accreditation, and the fact is, is that when you look at rock as a whole, anyone can be a leader. Anyone pretty much for the most part could probably be a king or queen for ladies out there. Got to give you guys shout outs. And the reason why is because, I mean, you could be an R4 of alliance that's just rotating R5, right? Maybe you're not the main R5, but you're just a rotational R5. You'd be king. Let's say your R5 has to drop out all of a sudden and you're on king rotation and they just stop playing the game. Well, they have to give it to someone. Let's say that <coughs> you ran an alliance and you got lucky and you ended up just getting some top players or some whales that joined your alliance and they, they that just kind of carried your alliance all the way through the kingdom until you got were able to get yourself into a king rotation. Maybe you are a part of a rotation of alliances. Maybe there's two alliances that rotate king. So technically, you'd have two kings, right? It's not as though you're the only king or queen. 
Maybe you're in, in a kingdom or server where you guys do three, four, five, six alliance rotations for your final building. Does that still hold the same weight, right? Because you're not the sole king. You've just been a king amongst the six, four, five, three, two kings in the kingdom. But think about it. There's nothing in the game that tells you I have to learn how to do these things in order to be a good king or to be a competent leader or to be a good officer. There's no guidelines. The game doesn't teach you how to do these things. You pretty much have to go off of learning yourself, asking someone else, or going to do some research on content, blogs, articles, etc. And that's it. You know, so it's very interesting when I see people throw the words around. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's some people that are great kings. I'm sure there's some people that are not so great kings. I'm sure there's some people that are great leads, great officers, great contributing members. And then I'm sure there's some that are not. But to use these words, these titles, uh, as, as though they have some sort of clout some sort of minimum standard, right? Some, some type of certification that's attached to them. There's just not. And I would argue, I'd go as far as to say that my video I've put out on how to be a leader and how to be an R5 is the best video out there currently in the sphere of rock that does the best job at just specifically detailing out as well as it does and explaining how to be a competent R5. And I'll stack my video, I put my video up against anyone else's video at this time because I just have that much confidence in it. And I've done my research, I've done my homework and I put out what I feel to be a quality product. But this is something that gets me and it is just unfortunate to see when they happen. But that's one of the reasons I, one, wanted to make the video. And two, I now want to put that question to you. Have you ever come across someone who has said this and they did it in a way where they tried to portray that they had a lot of knowledge and experience or or a lot of clout or as though they're certified you know they've been vetted because you know as far as the way they're using it but then maybe it turned out that they didn't know as much as you or whomever thought based on the title or the word that they were using and then i'm sure there's situations where maybe they did but i'm curious if others notice these things as i do and if you feel that some players at times will use them in this way to make themselves seem as though they just know more than they do or they have more experience than they do. Maybe some people use it defensively or as a cover or a smokescreen. But I think it, it really highlights kind of a bigger conversation and most likely it will be better for another video as well that Nobody really knows what to do in rock, right? It's more or less us just kind of figuring it out, right? That kind of is us learning and figuring what to do. But it's not as though the developers came out and said, hey, you have to play this way or you have to play that way. It was more of, hey, here's a sandbox. Go and play in it with how you see fit. And even though it leaves a lot open to interpretation, it also leaves, you know, a lot to still figure out. And so anyway, so that being said, I think that's it for me. I really just wanted to kind of have a conversation and see what you or another may think. Because to me, I, I'm just not a fan of kind of loosely saying those things or putting that out there where it's me doing it in a proactive way or in some type of, you know, just not good intended reactionary way. So that's my question to you. Have you had a situation that has occurred? And if so, 
I would love to hear it. Let me know in the comments down below. That is it for me. Until next time, we'll catch you later.